Hi everybody, welcome back to the Nita family. Today I have an insanely large Dollar Tree haul. We went on an adventure and we found this little hidden gem of a Dollar Tree. And when I say that, I mean when I walked in, guys, it was so clean and the employees greeted you with a smile. The shelves were stocked and they had so many different items that I never thought that I would find inside of one Dollar Tree alone. So with that being said, I wanted to start out by saying thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you that take time every time we upload to come visit us, to thumbs up our videos, to subscribe, to hit the notification bell. Even if you don't and you still continue to stop by, thank you. I know that our world is upside down right now and there are so many things going on and I appreciate the fact that you still stop by to see how everybody is doing and to support our channel because without you guys there would be no Native Family channel. And I don't know how to say thank you enough. So I hope you all are safe and having a wonderful time with your family and getting through this new way of life as best as we can. So with that being said, let's get started and show you what I found. Now I have a couple reviews in this Dollar Tree haul because Rhiannon tried some things out. But if you guys remember this beautiful tote right here in front of me, I picked up one of these a couple hauls ago because I thought these totes were absolutely adorable. It says, you are magic. So I was gonna do the watercolor behind the crystal ball and stuff like that. So I had prepped my tote to get ready. I put it in the wash to soften the fabric <laughs> and the kids put it in the dryer. So needless to say, I learned a lesson about Dollar Tree totes is you hand wash them only. Now, some of you probably already had common sense and knew that, not this girl right here. <laughs> so I might be able to salvage it by um, steaming it to straighten it out. I mean, worst comes to worst, I just have a smaller bag for Farmer's Market, but I totally messed up the first one. So I did repurchase it because I think it is adorable. So lesson learned, hand wash only. <laughs> Okay, yes, you are seeing Valentine's Day decor on my table. Yes, by the time you see this video, Valentine's Day will be long over. But, yes, I was on the hunt for these. There's so many cute gnome things out there that I know that I'm not going to find. And now we're on to Easter, and there's super amazing Easter gnomes out there in the Dollar Tree world. But, like I said, if it's meant for me to find, I'll find it and I'll pick it up as we go. But they have the Valentine's Day color your own decor. So I'm going to use one to decorate um, some things for next year's Valentine's. But I did pick up another pack to doodle with because guys, this is just a template. You can get out your acrylic paints, Mod Podge. This is just to get you started. You now use your creativity and see how far it can get you. But I am going to try to make those into other things. So makeup. Makeup and beauty are a lot of, and crafting are a lot of things that my inland stores, like well, closer to us, we never find. So when I walked into the store and I saw all of this beautiful makeup just there for the taking, I was so happy. So since this pandemic started, we have become a home salon. Anything that you can get done at a salon outside these four walls, I have learned to do on my own. So I have become a hairstylist. I have become a colorist, so I can do colors. I can trim, I can do the latest fashion. I have become a barber. I have become a nail, um, what do you call it, a nailtician. I do pedicures, manicures, full sets, press-ons. So anytime I can go into the Dollar Tree and find items that assist us with our home salon needs, I pick it up. So if you can find name brand items at the Dollar Tree for a buck, grab it. I picked up two of these Kiss Tip and Toe Nail Decals. Look how pretty these are. I'm hoping it focuses, but these are so cute. The girls have definitely been into doing their own uh, press on nails lately. Always a repurchase from the Dollar Tree is the four way nail buffer block. This is amazing. If you go to Sally's, you can pick these up for like two, three bucks, but a dollar is better than that. So I picked up one of those guys. Now this is a nice item to have in your nail box because we do have a little storage box with all of our nail supplies in it. And this is just the cuticle oil and nail strengthener. This is always nice to do after you've trimmed up your cuticles. Another amazing brand. This is Diamond. 
I grew up watching my mom use this on her nails, and I know she used a Sally Henson form of it, but this is the nail hardener. So in between doing your own nails at home, um, if you're putting on press-on nails with the glue tabs or you're using straight super glue, it is important to get your nails back straight and take a break in between them. And this is a beautiful base coat to get your nails strong again. So highly recommend it. I wish there was more bottles of this. This is one thing I wish I could have picked up a couple more of. But like I said, I was super happy when I found what I found. Cannot complain at all. Now I was looking for the big uh, version of this. This is the Low Bun Half Up by Beach Wave Company. Now I've bought products like this before on Amazon and in Think CVS for a lot more than a dollar. So this will be cute to do a, like a cute little beach style with this one. All of us have dark hair, so this will work perfect for us. Now I did see at the store the large bun, but it was in a blonde and that wouldn't have worked for us. Like I told you before, the kids are into doing their own press on nails and this one was a pretty good deal. Now, do I think these are gonna be the strongest nail tips? No, but these are also fun to practice on. So if you mess up and you don't like what it is, you can just you know let it go. It does come with the coffin and the stiletto and you get a hundred of them in here. So I did pick up two of those for them to put in their nail container as well. Then look at these, these are adorable. These are the mini tweezers. You get three pieces. You get the pointed tip for ingrown hairs, slanted tip for brow hairs, and the flat edge for thick hairs. Even if these don't work, these would be really good to have in like a little first aid kit in your purse, like especially the pointed tip. Like if you were to get a splinter, I feel like that would help you get it out. So even if it doesn't work on the whole eyebrow thing, I think it would work in a emergency like situation okay another name brand eco tools at the dollar tree it's like insane right so i love these sponges i have purchased them many different places i believe i used to get them at the 99 even but i love love the bamboo charcoal sponges I use this every day to wash my face so i enjoy that now this is another one of my favorite dollar tree products that i've ever gotten as far as beauty um, they used to have this all the time at my store, and this is the Rich Radiance Cocoa Butter Cleansing Wipes. I prefer these over all the Bolero. Now, I don't mind the Bolero, but I will buy these over the Bolero brand when I see it. K-Beauty. I have seen everybody picking up so many awesome K-Beauty products. Like I've told you before, if you are new here, I have teenage daughters. So, and when the K-Beauty thing started becoming a really big thing... I would have to go online and order this, or we do have, you know, Asian markets that specialize this in our area. This is not super cheap. You can spend up to $5 a sheet mask, to be honest, and it goes up from there. The kids love it. They've never had problems with it, and they have sensitive skin. So I did find one of the hydrating gold lip masks with argan oil. I will be on the lookout for the other K um, Beauty products as well. Oops, I dropped one. Anyways, there was two of these, and this is the Charcoal Blender Makeup Sponge. We needed new sponges, and I'm used to the ones that they sell in the hard plastic shell. I don't think I've ever seen these black ones in a bag before, but I did pick up two of those because you can never have enough blenders. Okay, anytime you can find cute costume jewelry on the cheap, on the low, you pick it up and hoops go with everything. And the kids had requested some silver ones because they had a lot of gold tone. And these are really cute for a buck. Hopefully it doesn't turn them too green and they won't wear them long enough to have it affect them. Wet and Wild, this one is for me, and which is so funny because I just ran out of blush too. This is the Rose Champagne Wet n Wild Color Icon. And it's a really pretty color. I know it's not picking it up on the camera. It's a lot darker in person than it is on camera. Now, I thought this was hard candy, but I did not read it in the store. But it is the Broadway Colors Contour Artist Cream. And I know a lot of you have been hauling this brand. My store really, locally, my store hasn't gotten it in, so I haven't seen it personally yet. But I usually, when I do contouring and things like that, I use powders. I've never used the creams before, so this will be interesting to give it a try. And if you guys have tried it, what do you think about it? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so apparently the Dollar Tree has made it to TikTok, and I have not yet. Um, no clue on how to use it, but my girls use it. And the girls were telling me that these were a hit on TikTok. Now, I've bought the Ioni lashes before, but I've never been able to find the... Um, Ioni lash glue 
Now, quick review. Rhiannon tried the glue out because she was she had to use it right away as soon as she saw it. And she said it's amazing. It is worth your dollar. If not, it's worth more than a, a dollar. She said it was not too tacky. It adhesed very well. Um, she was able to wear her lashes for an extended amount of time and remove them without any kind of damage to her eyelid or her regular eyelashes. She just said it's a very nice product and well worth the buck. So if I come across it, I have been informed that she wants at least 10 of them if I can find them. So picked up the lash glue. Now these lashes, oh my gosh, look at these critter lashes. I cannot get away with wearing lashes like this for the life of me. But again, I told you my kids use makeup more of an art form than necessarily a beauty type thing. So I am curious to see what kind of trends they're going to start with these little critter lashes. But these are the wispy dramatic 3d foam mink lashes and these are really nice lashes they feel nice and soft they don't have that harsh synthetic feel and this is about the most less dramatic of the group that i could find and this is the natural light doll so from the teenage girl she said that these are amazing products and to pick them up okay so another thing that she had tried out was the Hard Candy Sensitive Skin Primer. All of my kids have sensitive skin, so I have to be very careful with what I allow them to use. And she tried it, and she said it allowed her to put her makeup on very smooth. It didn't cause any itching or anything like that, and her makeup lasted, I think she said, about eight hours using this primer. Just make sure that it is sealed because it does come sealed, and I did pick up three of those because there are three of us young ladies in the house that use makeup. And then they did have more of the hard candy. And this is the 360 Sparkle. And this is evenly coats each lash with glitter. So this is the Bold Glitter Mascara. Again, I thought that would be fun for them to play with, like a little fairy look. And then look at all this, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's we'll start with the lip colors. I did get two of these. And these lip glosses. This is a liquid cat suit by... Um, Wet n Wild, and this is the Bali in Love, I think it is. Yeah, Bali in Love, and I just thought that would be super pretty for spring and in summer. Just a nice little glitter gloss. So I picked up two of those. And then they had the Liquid Cat Suit in uh, Chick Get Real, and this is more of a mauve pink color. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Now, there's colors that I haven't found yet that I would actually use more of a neutral tone. But I just haven't come across them yet. And then I did find a metallic liquid cat suit. And this one is I Don't Desert You. Again, really pretty. It's like a wine color. And then they had it in the matte, Mega Last Matte. And Cosmopolitan is just this really pretty red. But look at the package. The package is super cute. And I was only able to find one of those, but that is fine because I'm pretty much the only person that will wear a red lipstick in the house. And then they have the Wet n Wild Coverall Stick. Rhiannon is the lightest skin child here. So this one is in light porcelain. So this will be perfect for her to give a shot. Now I am the only one that wears brow gel in the house. So they have the hard candy, medium dark, Fiberized brow gel and brow highlighter. I'm super super excited to try this out. I did pick up two because That's that fear of not being able to find another one if you like it So I did pick up two of those then they have these little Maybelline snap scara These were like these kind of totally remind me of the 80s and 90s are these colored mascaras now I know they had a blue one like a sapphire blue, and Rhiannon didn't want that. And then it doesn't really, she likes black and brown mascara. But this one is in the ultraviolet, and this is really pretty purple. Now I have dark, well, Rhiannon has dark brown eyes, and I have green and blue eyes, like blue green. I know the lady on here has that color, but I just don't feel like I can pull off a purple mascara. Maybe wrong, but no. But now this one I thought was really pretty. This is a black cherry. And I thought with like a brown eyeliner, and I don't know, I just think that would be a really pretty look. So I'm going to try to do that. And then they had one of the Drew Barrymore Chubby Eyeshadow Sticks. And I really thought this was pretty. It's in the color Daffodil with it. But I don't know if you can see it through the package. But I just think that would be a nice you know, color just for your lid. And maybe under your eyebrow. But that was nice. Okay, so... A couple more makeup items. I told you guys this is going to be a fairly large haul. 
This is the Wet n Wild All Glown Up, and this is a loose highlighting powder. Guys, look how awesome this is. I mean, absolutely beautiful packaging, right? But the color is so pretty, and I did pick up two of those. That's a lot of product for a dollar. All right, they had a Freeman Brightening Cucumber Peel-Off Mask. Now, I prefer the peel-off masks over the mud masks. I just feel my face feels so much more clean when you do the peel-off mask. Plus, it's fun to peel it off for some reason. I just enjoy doing it. But for a dollar, and it's the Freeman Basics, so it's always nice when you can find things for a buck that you know that would cost more in the name brand stores. Then they had this Beauty Guru Eyelash Enhanced Serum with Castor Oil. If you guys have seen this before or tried it, let me know down in the comments below if you had any kind of issues with it or if it actually worked, because I'm curious. I really, really am. So I only picked up one of those. Now this was a wish list item. I've been wanting it for a while. I suffer from the worst allergies and I do tend to get either a super runny nose or a super like stuffy congested nose. And this is the Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Nasal Inhaler. It's cooling and refreshing and it's natural mint oil. So I wanted to give it a go. thought that was kind of cool. One more beauty item as far as nails. My kids like the formula of this nail polish. This is the Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel. They got it in the teal and they said it dries fairly quickly so they did pick it up in a gold color i'm trying to move along um okay this was kind of in the beauty section so we'll start with this too two pack of the eyeglass cleaning cloth i have to take both girls to the eye doctor so i wanted them to have like i know the the eye doctor gives them their cleaning cloths but i wanted to give some that was like a little more personalized to the colors they like they also have the jumbo ones there, but you only get one in the pack. So with that being said, I got the orange and the pink. Super good deal for a dollar. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they had new face masks. Way better face masks than the ones that they had been carrying. I mean, it gets the job done, don't get me wrong, but they weren't the best quality. These look like the ones I just ordered online. Now, let me know if I'm the only one here, guys. I used to love the leopard print in the 90s. I had the cute little outfits, the boots anything free. I even had the leopard skin purse. And when I had kids, that whole leopard thing went, <laughs> it just went right out the window. But as I'm getting older, I'm starting to like it again. Anybody else out there with me on this? So I thought this was super cute with the whole leopard print mask. Very, very cute. Now I probably would double up with this mask just to be safe. I would put the um, disposable surgical mask underneath and this over it as a mask cover but they're cute and then they had one with lips so dang cute so I thought those were cute cute one more time I keep using that word I'm sorry guys but when it's awesome it's awesome then they have this jot stationery set this has like the four note cards the four uh, piece letters and the four envelopes so I wanted to start doing a pen pal situation so I thought those were cute for a buck and then you got this reusable and I completely munched aside but reusable envelope that would be awesome for coupons now was suffering with allergies I did not buy this for Valentine's Day I bought this to put in the freezer and to put on my eyes in the morning because I wake up with bags under my eyes and I'm talking about two carry-ons and two check-ins. So I thought this would be nice to have in the freezer for the bags under my eyes that I have accumulated over the years. This is going to be for my disposable, or not disposable, but for my reusable masks. I figured this would be the perfect size, see, to put the masks in so that they stay to where I don't lose them because I have lost so many masks in this whole adventure that we've been on. And it's just a cute sequin one. It goes from silver to red. Then they finally, like I told you, in my stores, I could not find these crossbodies when they came out. These are perfect for farmer's market. Um, if you have auctions that you can still go to, you know, just walking the beach and you don't want to mess up your na nice name brand, you know, purses. Teenagers going to, you know, if you're running into the grocery store and you just want to use your sandy wipes, and your wallet these are perfect and they're really cute I did pick up three designs that I thought that were nice so I did get the black and gray which is the one I preferred Nena fell in love with this one and then Rhiannon liked that one so I did pick up three of those guys oh crafty crafty stuff okay so we picked these up these were not in the Valentine's Day section these weren't these were in the crafter square section 
And I thought that these would be fun to make as refrigerator magnets and put, you know, fun little sayings on them or inspirational sayings for the kids. So I picked those up and you only get four in here, but I thought, you know, just to give it a try because they did have other shapes, we picked those up. And to go with that, we got the 12 piece of the magnetic buttons. You get 12 in here. I mean, you can't beat that. You're not going to pay a dollar at Michael's for that. This was Valentine's Day, and it was like the only one by itself on the shelf because by the time I had finally went in there, Valentine's Day was just about done, and people had bought and everything. But again, I thought this would be fun to paint. You know, if you have little scratch these, if you get any kind of like art, do your own DIY things in the crafting section, and you have your little ones doing it, get rid of this paintbrush. I've said it before. It's just going to discourage them. Go and get them, even if you have to go in the makeup section and get them a makeup brush, don't give them this. It's just, it's going to break their heart. So with that being said, I'm going to move on now. Um, I really just wanted this to paint really nice and do something as a saying for my father who is no longer with us. So, moving right along, candles. Another quick review. These are super cute, right? I have already hauled the full set. But Rhiannon and Nana wanted their own. So I came across these. These are the Seasonal Solstice. These are a Greenbrier product. Barely have a scent on cold. And when you light them up, they don't scent at all. There is no throw on these whatsoever. But you are paying for the cute package. Because it is adorable, guys, right? Worth a buck. But as far as if you're looking for a candle with a scent, this isn't it, guys. So I did pick up the Dark Moon for Rhiannon. And the Abundance. Again, she just liked the packaging. Now, these candles right here are absolutely pretty. They have a beautiful little jar containers, but they have a beautiful cold throw. And I love the packaging on these. This one is the Moonshine Dust, and this one is an uplifting citrus blend with sweet tropical notes. Guys, this smells like Hawaiian punch to me. It really smells good, honestly. They had a rose quartz one, but I don't like the scent of rose quartz, but the pink was really pretty. Then they have it in amethyst stone. And this one is a sweet mix of plum infused berry and sea salt topped with bergamot. Really pretty. And then they had this jade sparkle. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Um, this one is a warmth. Wait, a smooth mahogany blended with light floral notes, or did I say yeah? It says notes. Don't I don't have my glasses on, guys? So I'm a little slow at this point in the game. But yeah, they're really pretty. Again, if you do get Dollar Tree candles, be super super safe and cautious with them. Only burn them when you're going to be around, because candles can be dangerous. I just got a five pack of razors because you know we don't want to be furry. And then they had Animal growing up with the Muppet Babies. I loved Miss Piggy and Animal. Oh my goodness, my favorite. And look at him. He's going to be such a cute addition to my desk. Oh, I love him. Then another thing that I love about the Dollar Tree is the fact that they carry sugar-free candy for this type 1 diabetic to enjoy. I love Chico Sticks, and they are so good. You get 12 little individually wrapped guys in this bag. So I did pick up two bags to put on my desk. Okay. Oh, there is a beauty thing. I have a couple more beauty things left. Okay, so my youngest daughter, TMI, um, she uses head and shoulders shampoo, and it doesn't always work. So this is the Lusty Naturals Dry Scalp and Hair Shampoo. Smooths, itchy scalp, reduces flakiness, free of parabens. So I did pick this up for her to try. This is a name brand shampoo. Then... I have been on the hunt for this Leaping Lizard chili sauce forever. It has been floating around the Dollar Tree woods forever. And I love the Jennifer Garden spring rolls. And I was excited to find one of these to finally have it for lunch with my spring rolls. So I just picked up one of those. I did find these soft soap exfoliating body bars with real coconut extract. Exfoliation is very, very important for your skin, guys. So don't forget to exfoliate. Uh, more crafting stuff. I just picked this little wood cut out to do a steampunk inspired little crafty craft thing real quick. So I picked that up. Okay, so Rhiannon is in fiber arts, so we are trying to teach her how to sew, and I figured why not take Nana along for the ride. I'm going to teach them how to make face masks. So I've already picked up this print with a little 
Oh, I got the hiccups with the cute little VW bus on it. And I picked up another one because I fell in love with it. And I did pick up this one here to use as a backing or a reversible style. And you get 20 by 21. You can make a couple masks out of these. Now I'm kicking myself in the behind over this one because this one with the cute little campers, there was another one that had a dark green like this and it was like license plates and things like that. And I thought that would have been a fun project to do for when we travel and take pictures in front of signs and stuff, but I will keep my eye out for that. But that's what the fabric is for. Guys, I was excited to find some items that I could use with my Cricut. This was another one of my wish list items that have been on my wish list for a million zillion years. I thought it was a unicorn I was never going to find. This is the Crafter Square Roller Cutter. I've seen people do reviews on it. They rave about it. They say it's wonderful. So now I have my very own, and that will be going with my Cricut. Speaking of my Cricut, I really love this contact quick cover. Um, this is adhesive, and what I use this for is transfer paper for my Cricut for when I do my vinyl. So um, don't sleep on that. It's really good, and it's name brand. Okay, more name brand goodness right here. Okay, so I usually buy this at Walmart, and it's in a bigger can, but it costs more than a dollar. This is the Barkeeper's Friend. This is the cleanser. This is more of like the Comet kind of scouring cleanser. You can use this on just about anything, and it makes it come clean. You can use it on your porcelain. It gets the rust stains off of your stainless steel. I use it on my sheet pans because I've been doing a lot of sheet pan recipes, and it's starting to stain my sheet pans. Guys, if you see this, pick it up. It is so amazing and worth the dollar, definitely. Okay, this little cute guy, Rhiannon wanted. They have a cute little fairy garden with succulents and plants in their room. And they thought this reminded them of a cone incense burner. See how his mouth is open? And he has a little hole at the bottom here that they thought that they could use for incense. So that is for them. I love when I finally find the missing decor to the ones that I've already have and this is the farm sweet farm I already have the barn the tractor the rooster so the cow is the only thing that is missing and I do apologize about the very loud sirens going by but this is my second time trying to film this video and I don't think I want to start over again so I do apologize for that okay Moving along, like I told you, this is a long Dollar Tree haul, and I do apologize. I did get their pretty pastel pictures. If you guys have seen, they have been doing some really lovely colors for the spring this year. But I just picked up the pink one because I thought it was the color of pink lemonade, and I thought that would be very nice to put our pink lemonade in for the spring. The girls absolutely love butterflies, and they are loving doing the scarves in their hair lately. And so they got this dark green one with these beautiful butterflies on it. The colors of this is absolutely beautiful. Love this one. And they did get it in the pink and mauve. And these are also butterflies. See if I can stretch it out to where you guys can see. Yep, see the pretty butterflies? So the girls wanted those. This was another wish list item. Look at this. Okay, so we already know we put the Dawn dish liquid and the vinegar and the water in the other spongy thing and we use it to clean our showers. But the sponge gets funky and you got to use it, you know, get new ones quite a bit. But look, they have one with the dispenser and a scrubber. If I could have found at least 10 of these, I would have picked them up, but I only found one. But I'm excited to use that. That's going to come in handy for sure. Never do I ever find the flower sack kitchen towels. Never. I don't think I've ever found not one of them, to be honest with you. So they had the cook, eat, and be happy. My kitchen is predominantly red, gray, black, and white. Those are my colors. So this goes in perfect with it. And this one, I just like the play of the words. It says forks to be reckoned with instead of force to be reckoned with. So I did pick up those guys right there. And now I'm going to try to tackle my spice cabinet this weekend coming up. I wish I could have gotten another one of these. This is the only one they had, but like I told you, I am not complaining because I can finally mark things off my list. But I do have two shelves in my spice cabinet. But I'm going to try this out and see how it works. It looks like you could put some little backstock spices right there. So give that a try. Another one I was so excited about. Oh, I smacked you guys. These are the window storage bins. I never thought I was going to come across these because I saw everybody picking them up and my local stores just weren't getting them. Guys, I bought three of each. Um, I'm going to do 
the black and white for the girls room and I'm going to use these guys right here in the white with black stripes to do an organization because I have a entry table that holds our shoes at the bottom and I'm going to put the shoes in there to keep it a look a little bit more organized. So that's that. Now I do have books. I'm going to try to go through the books fairly quickly for you guys because this is it. This is the last part of our haul. All right. My youngest daughter, Nena, absolutely loves coloring books, uh, comic books, huge Marvel fan, Marvel, I said Marvel, huge Marvel fan. She just loves anything to do with that kind of thing. So this is a Captain Marvel Fly Higher Do One Brave Thing Every Day book. Even if you do not like this cover, you can recover it because when I show you, it's very nice. In this day and age, we need to pay attention to our children and make sure that they are okay. So I feel like journaling and writing things down help children mentally and it keeps them going and things like that. Just personal, something I've always done with my kids. But this is something that's an amazing thing. It says, Captain Marvel's symbol is a big part of her identity. Draw a symbol of your own to identify who you are to others. And it just has different things. What songs make you feel confident? You know, different little things that you could do. Who in your life gives the best advice and why? So I was only able to find one of these, but I thought this was perfect for her. And it doesn't say how much it was at stores. I really don't care, honestly, but... For a buck I thought that was cool and again even if you don't like this you can make this really cute and re you know cover it now this was too close to breathe I read the back of it and that's what it says there and it sparked my interest so this was originally $16 and sold at Target so I gave that a shot I do like to read at least one to two books a week if I can sit down with a nice cup of tea or coffee and that's usually my downtime I love anything to do with poetry or I just love it, love it, love it, love it. These are 40 Sonnets by Don Patterson. And I know it's small, but I just love it. And the words just, they're just amazing and beautiful. So very talented. I thought this was kind of funny. I actually got this as a gift. It says, your ultimate guide to social media stardom, Selfie Made with Meredith Rojas, co-founder of Diggy Tour. And this is just pretty much like a little social media for dummies kind of book. But it's an interesting and it's a gift. So that. Now this was one of my favorite purchases besides the makeup. This is Brandon Bird. Brandon Bird is an amazing, amazing artist. It's an astonishing world of art. He does a play of celebrities with uh, different things. And this one has like Christopher Watkins, Eric Roberts in it. It has like the cast from Criminal Minds, um, Special Victims Unit. It's just super, super interesting. Let's see, who is that? Um, Jeff Goldblum with the angel. And if you have like like Guy Fieri, um, it has a way of grow or growing, drawing Tom Hanks. It has Rod Stewart as a stormtrooper. It's just really fun. Um, it has Mr. T in there. But it does come with postcards. Let's see. And stickers. So if you have an art buff in your life and you come across this book, it was originally like $14.95. But this is an amazing, amazing piece. Even if you keep it on your coffee table, it's a good um, conversation piece at that. So that is my Dollar Tree haul, guys. Whew, 33 minutes in. If you stuck through this whole video, I appreciate you guys so much. You are amazing and you rock. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when we upload new videos. And as always, family, don't forget to be kind, inspire, be inspired. And thank you so much and have a wonderful day. I will see you soon with another video. Bye, guys.